Hi, I'm Jason Erickson. And as a massage therapist and a personal trainer, I have often found my clients benefit a lot from the use of a method called dermoneuromodulation, better known as DNM. Now that term was coined by Diane Jacobs, a PT up in Canada. And I've had the honor of working with her and studying with her. Um, the thing about dermoneuromodulation is that it's not some special modality. It's more a way of understanding how pain works and how your nervous system plays a role in uh, any kind of manual or massage therapy that you do. So the body is constantly gathering information through receptors in the skin and other parts of the body, and it sends that information to the spinal column, and then it goes up the spinal cord to the brain, and the brain processes it. And the brain then kind of has to interpret that information. Now, even if there's no tissue damage at all, but the brain senses that there may be some kind of danger or some kind of threat of some sort, it might cause you to experience some form of discomfort. Now, it might be as minor and benign as like a tickle where you just kind of flinch away from whatever it is. Or it might be some kind of more extreme pain. Uh, and so hopefully it's, not, hopefully it's not the extreme pain. But the thing is, is that both are outputs from the brain depending on how it interprets the information that it's getting. So with dermoneuromodulation, you know, the, again, we're focusing on that nervous system component of what the client is, is, is experiencing. And so what we're gonna do is, when we're doing any kind of massage or manual therapy, we can't reach in directly into the body, uh, but instead we are making contact with the skin. So how can we make best use of that contact with the skin to enhance what we do? So I'm gonna, we're gonna look at a couple simple applications of that concept. So we're going to, I've got Kelly here to help us out a little bit. So the first thing, we're going to look at, we're going to look at applications for just a couple different areas that uh, might be treated with a variety of other areas. And some of what I demonstrate might actually look quite familiar uh, to, based on, because you're going to find similar, similar applications in other styles of massage, but which may have a different type of explanation behind how or why they work. So for example, if with Kelly's brachial plexus, which is up, in this area here, near the collarbone, okay, one way that I can help calm that down, if we make the nerves happy and the nervous system happy, you're generally, she's gonna experience less discomfort. If muscles are tight, her, those muscles might get to relax. So where her clavicle or collarbone is, I'm gonna take my hands, the edges of my hands, I'm just gonna rest them gently on either side, just along the surface of the skin. And I'm gonna give my hands a, a few moments to kind of sink down and kind of almost melt into her skin a little bit without pressing down. And you can see that my body's pretty relaxed. Okay, from here, I'm gonna move my right hand, which is closer to her throat. That's gonna move kind of towards her breastbone into what's also called the sternal notch. And then my other hand, which is on just below her collarbone, is gonna move away in the direction of her shoulder. So we are gently stretching the skin in opposite directions on either side of her collarbone. And this is, you can see that I'm not pushing hard or fast, I'm not pulling, I'm just kind of letting the skin gently tug in two opposite directions. Now the reason why we're doing this gentle approach is because the nerves that have a lot to do with sensory input to the brain and also uh, motor control are largely located between the, the skin and the, and the muscles. So just by gently interacting with the skin, we can activate Ruffini corpuscles and other little sensors and fibers that, that feed up into the skin from those deeper nerve structures. Now after about a minute and a half, two minutes or so, you know, in many cases we're gonna have a, a quite a lot of uh, positive change in this area here. Now in this area here, okay, this can feed down into the arm and the shoulder and so forth too. But another area that, that you'll commonly find that is, that is tender, tight, or sore is gonna be a little bit further to the side. You know, usually in the area of the, ah, and you can see Kelly flinch just a little bit there, okay. Sorry about that, but thank you for demonstrating. So I'm gonna bring this out a little bit, and I'm gonna use, and I can just use my bare hands. In this case, I'm gonna use a little piece of something called Dysum. You can use a contact paper or something like that too, just something that helps you get a little better grip on, her, on the surface of her skin. So I'm gonna find that tender spot again, up oh, right there. All right, so now I'm gonna rest one hand here, just kinda of anchor that skin, maybe even stretch it a little bit towards her sternum. The other hand down here on the arm, this is what the hand that's really gonna make the difference. And that one's just gonna kinda of sink in along the skin and draw it out a little bit. 
And again, I'm just going to take the slack out of the skin. I'm not pulling real hard. I'm not really worried about the fascia. I'm not trying to really stretch the muscle. I'm just taking the slack out of the skin. So all those nerves, as they're coming from the deeper layers up to the skin, they've got to wind their way through all kinds of different layers of tissue and, um, and through what are sometimes referred to as tunnels, little openings between layers of fascia. Well, if there is impingement at any of those areas where, it's where the nerves are passing from one layer of tissue into another, that can cause a problem. And sometimes that's referred to as tunnel syndrome. And so I'm just gonna take a little stretch in across the skin here. Sometimes that gives quite a bit of relief. Now, if, if I, once I've taken that, that, that uh, slack out of the skin, Kelly, if I press in here now, is that still tender at all? Okay, so she's not even jumping. So, you know, I, can, I think I can trust her, her feedback here. So I'm gonna ease back out of that again, okay? And I'll just take a little slack here and if I press in here again, I can press with quite a bit more pressure and she still isn't experiencing the kind of discomfort that she had earlier. So that's the kind of change that we would like to see. And it didn't really take very long, okay? Now a lot of times people have, have different types of pain in their lower back and so forth. And so we're gonna look, you know, most of the time when doing massage manual therapy, you're gonna see people laying, those, laying clients face down on the table or top or something like that. But if she's in such pain that it's difficult for her to turn over on her belly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can assist her using DNM concepts. Uh, and so a simple method that I might use is that I'm gonna take one hand and I'm just gonna reach under her low back, okay? Now, all of you kind of know where your own low back is, so I'm gonna be just off to the side of her spine. And we're gonna find a little spot that's a little tender. And if we watch her face a little bit, yep, she's getting that little ouch smile, okay? So, you know, we've got, so we've, we, found, we found her spot, okay? Now, if I press here hard, you can see how her belly comes up because of how hard I'm pressing, okay? So it's not, you know, so I can press fairly hard and, and, and she's trying hard not to flinch. Or to, or to say something mean to me. So she's gonna turn her head a little bit to the side now. We're gonna take this arm and we're gonna let this come up just kind of almost across her face here. She's just gonna kind of let it drop there. And I'm gonna come up here with, that, with my Dyson and I'm just gonna make contact with her skin. And I'm gonna gently slide the skin up towards the elbow and just with just a little twist on the skin here. And again, taking the slack out of the skin as it travels down the arm and attaches into the back, okay? And interestingly enough, down here in her lower back, I can feel the muscles starting to soften already. And I'm gonna give that a few moments and we'll check in with Kelly. We'll see if this is, if, if she has enough of a pain reduction for us to keep this. Okay, and some, in, in which case, rather than just staying there, uh, I might make a little change, adjust her arm position. I might change the way that I'm stretching the skin on her, uh, up by her elbow and, and upper arm. Okay, so I might make some adjustments because I, I should be able, she, we should have very rapid and nearly total pain reduction within five to 10 seconds after we've started uh, using one of these skin stretches. Okay, so it took me a while to get to the point where I didn't have to make a whole bunch of adjustments. So as I press here now, is that still okay? Okay, now I'm gonna press harder. You could probably see Kelly's belly going up and down with how hard I'm pressing. Is that still okay as I'm pressing like that? Okay, so I'm gonna let Kelly's arm come back down. And again, is that still okay? Okay, good. All right, so you know, there are, I can modify that approach to, for almost any, any point along her back, even into her upper back. So coming around to the other side of the table here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna undrape Kelly's leg. So we can take a look and see if she's got anything going on here. Now, I know she had a hard workout the other day, so I'm guessing we'll probably find something. Okay, so as I palpate along her leg, yeah, there's a little, you know, she's nodding right now, so there's some sore stuff right in here. Now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check just a little bit further. It's not as bad as we go higher up. So she's going to, we're going to focus on this area here. Now, again, there's a variety of different ways that I can work with this, but if I'm going to apply a DNM concept, again, I'm going to make use of that skin stretch. So there's a variety of ways I can do that. We're going to try one way as I'm going to, Simply bring this up here, and we're going to make sure that that stays tucked. Now Kelly's got her shorts on uh, underneath all this, but I would be have this tucked extra careful if she did not. Okay, again, uh, from here, I'm going to use a little Dyson, or I can just use my bare hands, get a little bit of grip on the skin, and as I'm going to draw her skin up away from her hip bone, 
and maybe just put just a little bit of a turn onto it. Okay, now the skin along here, this is the area where, where she had the most tenderness to. If I'm pressing in here, is that still tender at all? Okay, so she's saying no. All right, that's pretty good. So I can just kind of hang out here, make that nice and easy on her. Okay, now if, for example, she was a bigger, stronger person and I was a smaller, lighter person, okay, I might sit down on the table and use both hands, okay, and get a similar kind of, re re get a similar type of technique going. Again, drawing the skin up, giving it a maybe a little bit of a turn, okay, and I can use just my, my bare hands. I can even work through, through pants or through cloth, but a generally skin-to-skin -skin contact is ideal. Okay, now if I press in here now, is that still okay, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's still nodding yes. All right, fantastic. And as I press on it now, it feels much softer and more relaxed than it did when we first started doing this. And typically, I might be here for a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, sometimes quite a bit longer. It really kind of depends on how our tissue is responding. Okay, and there might be other reasons why it's sore too. Uh, if I, and if she's not giving me an indication that it is helping, I might adjust my technique or, you know, either what I'm doing or where I'm applying the method. So as I come along in here now, is this still sore? Okay, and she still says no, okay? And this is something that can be done, again, almost anywhere along her thigh, the outside of her leg, down to the foot. I've used this for a wide variety of things, okay? This is just very gently taking advantage of how we use our skin contact to help the nervous system relax, understand things are okay now and that the, we don't have to experience quite so much pain. So, if you enjoyed that, um, you know, please visit dermoneuromodulation.com. There's a lot of things there that will give you more information about this, the video clips. You can download a free copy of a DNM manual to, to check out and learn more about the method. Uh, if there, there are seminars scheduled, uh, there will be some information on that for you as well. And feel free to, give me a, to contact me also at jasoneseminars at gmail.com. Thank you very much.